how did you find like your first Facebook ads client? Did you do, like a curious student like what I tried to do? Did you do a direct offer? Like how did you get your first Facebook ads client? Yeah. So first I just tried cold email and everyone in their in their dog kind of thing. And yep. after like 10 days, I was like, okay, this isn't working. Like I can't do this at scale of long term. And so I literally was opened up my phone here and I was looking through my contact list and I was looking at names. I was like, someone in my contact list has to know somebody that needs Facebook ads. Bingo. And so I would text probably, I don't know, I texted 10 people within five minutes. I was like, hey, you know, I'm trying to do Facebook ads for businesses. I've gotten these results through my online store. I want to try it for a local business. Yeah. And simply by just pulling out my phone, looking through my contact list, I closed my first Facebook ads client for about, I think it was nine ninety seven, following the Ty Lopez pricing model. That's um, so cool. But that's how I closed my first one is literally just opening the contact list and contacting friends because, you know, Johnny's got to know a buddy over there that knows, you know, needs ads for his salon or whatever, restaurant, whatever. Yeah. And so it's really just pulling out the phone. And that's the, go ahead. I was going to say, do you have this like weird fear that most people have when they ask these types of questions? Like, do you know anybody that wants Facebook ads? Like, like being an imposter or like, I'm going to do it. Do you ever have that type of like that pullback sensation or you really have the confidence because you did it before? I would say I probably had more of the confidence just because I did it with my online store. Like I even sent one dude like a screenshot of like our $30,000 month. I was like, I did this for an online store. Let me try this with your buddy's uh, physical retail store or whatever. Um, and so I, you know, I think I did have a little bit of imposter syndrome um, here and there a little bit, but like at the end of the day, like you learn so much every single day, like even yesterday on a website, I learned how to do this certain thing. And so like every day it's like, you're learning something new. So it like, in my opinion, it's nothing to like really kind of hold you back kind of thing. Very cool. It's just getting used to like being unsure yeah. and not entirely being confident, just that imperfect action type thing, right? Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, if it wasn't for that online store, I probably never would have taken a Facebook ads client. And like the same thing, like a website, like the first time I did a website, I had no idea what the hell I was doing, but yep. I learned as I was doing it kind of thing. 